This is a civil defense message. Vigorous lava eruptions continue in the area of Leilani Estates. Mayor Kim has issued a mandatory evacuation order. Persons remaining in the mandatory evacuation area do so at their own risk with the knowledge that emergency responders may not respond. When I first moved here, there was a pretty big flow that was hitting the national park area. Being a photographer, it just kind of drew me to it. And so when I got there for the first time and kind of checked it out, it's kind of a surreal experience when you go to lava the first time. And so ever since then, I've kind of just been a volcano junkie. We haven't had a, a fissure eruption like this since you know, mid last century. So to see lava shooting up like this hundreds of feet in the air, it's, it's the first time I've seen anything like that in my life. This is definitely a dangerous thing. I mean, we're, we're standing here on the edge of this recently active lava flow. Obviously we have this huge fountain. Downwind you have all these huge pieces of cinder that are landing on the ground. And you know that the ground is treacherous. The lava you're walking on is, is still hot. A lot of that can collapse and fall. A little bit different than maybe photographing sunset at the beach, you know? You know, it's been kind of traumatic. It's obviously having a huge effect on the area. I mean, you, you drive through here now and it looks, I mean, it looks like a war zone. This was like all grass. You can see this huge area here where the road is kind of sunken in. Some massive cracks, a lot of steam coming out. A few weeks ago, none of this rock was here. You know, you look down there, you see that mailbox. And basically, Nohea Street ran right through here. This was a thriving community. I mean, kids were riding their bike here not too long ago, playing basketball. I mean, you look at it now, and it looks like some, some view from Mars or something. Underneath there are, are the remnants of Nohea Street and Leilani and, and all the memories and all the families. You know, this is gonna have a huge, long-lasting aftermath on, on the community. You know, when we first came in here and, and we're taking photos and stuff, like a lot of people ended up reaching out. Can you go check on this house? Can you go check on this property? Can you feed my cat? Can you check on my dog? And, and when you're in here and the community was locked out and they had no news coverage, they had no info, they had no intel, they had no way of knowing and people were worried sick. And I found myself in this situation where I like had this duty to, you know, share the information, give updated real-time information of what fissure was breaking out and where and at what time. I mean, I, I gotta be honest, when we first came out here, I, I had no idea that we would end up doing stuff like that. That wasn't necessarily my intention or my plan, it just ended up happening. So to have people come forward and ask for assistance and even information, there was just a serious sense of, of like a kuleana, you know, like a responsibility. This is really a world event. And by sharing these photos and videos, it made it so that people from all around the world were able to watch it and, and share this experience together. The shots that I've gotten that have just been breathtaking, I really just pushed the button. I mean, Tutu Pele, she's the one putting on the show. You know, the volcano is powerful, it's majestic, it's scary, it destroys, but it's also the creator. You know, as much as it's a tragedy that this community is being affected and, and people are losing their homes, that's also how these islands were created. That's what gave birth to Hawaii.